Hi, I'm Carol Olmsted with Feng Shui for Real Life, and today I'm showing you the basics of using Feng Shui to choose art for your bedroom. In Feng Shui, we believe that you are what you see, and that means the art you choose to surround yourself with affects what you attract into your life. This is especially important in your bedroom. It's most important in Feng Shui to hang art in a master bedroom that feels romantic, coupled, and paired. And that's romantic by your own definition. It could be as simple as a picture of a vase with two tulips gently bending toward each other, a print of a city where you spent your honeymoon, or a picture of a couple holding hands and walking on the beach. Make sure the artwork you hang across from your bed feels especially relaxing because it's the first thing you see in the morning and the last thing you look at each night. Limit the number of mirrors in your bedroom to no more than one. And make sure you don't place it across from the bed or where you can see yourself in it while you're still in the bed. As for photographs, display a picture of you and your spouse or partner prominently in the room. Wedding pictures are of course okay, but be sure to also include current photos of the two of you doing something you love to do together. Remove anything related to work because it detracts from the two purposes of the room, rest and romance. That means no laptops, smartphones, or to-do lists on your night table. If your cell phone is your only phone and you must keep it in the bedroom, locate it as far away from your bed as possible. And finally, remove the photos of your children, parents, pets, and friends from the master bedroom. After all, you don't want them watching you, do you? So that's the basics of feng shui bedroom art. Thanks for watching.